Now I'm on a mission to find out what our meat eats. So here I am on the Sussex Downs. Look at this view. I'm here for a spot of al fresco dining with someone who hopefully has all the answers. And we've got the best table in the house. Hi there, Craig. Hi, Jimmy. Nice to meet you. Craig Talentire is from Newcastle Uni, where he's been studying the environmental impact of farmed animal feed. So I'm here to talk about meat. Yes. And what we feed our animals to produce the meat that goes on our plate. So you've got a bag of food here, the standard That's feed what... pellet. Is it causing a problem for the planet? The big problem with this sort of feed is the protein that goes into it is mainly imported soya. Right, and that comes from what's Brazil, Argentina? Brazil, Argentina, yes. Which has a huge CO2 impact associated with it. Soy is imported from South America, and it's estimated 4 million acres of forests are being cleared every year to keep up with the demand. How much land is dedicated just to produce crops for our, our, our meat? We're using a lot of land to grow food for animals. About 33% of the cereals that we grow actually feed livestock, not us. So what does go into putting a family-sized roast on the table? Come on, guys, come take a seat. I also want to find out which animal is most efficient at turning its feed into food. We've invited three carnivorous diners for an unusual meat feast. So each one of these diners here have got their favourite meats. Liam loves chicken. <laughs> Olivia's partial to pork. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. And Jay is all about the beef. No. That's rubbish. <laughs> Look at all this landscape behind you. Come on, so your beef. Ooh, awesome. Wow. OK, bring on the food. So tell me, Craig, to produce two kilos of chicken meat, what does that take in terms of the food to feed it? I'll show you. Our maitre d' is serving up the approximate feed portion that this two kilogram chicken would have eaten to get to this weight. We've got 4.6 kilograms of feed here, 50% wheat, 25% uh, of soya. Oils, minerals, vitamins. So that's the chicken. Guys, what do you think about that? Well, I wasn't expecting as much feed for as much meat. And that's just for starters. Can we have the next one, please? So for two kilos of pork meat, what are we talking in terms of feed? Where, sir? Yes. And here we've got five kilos of barley and a kilo of soy. The pig would eat much more than this in its lifetime. This is just the amount of feed it would take to produce a two kilogram joint of pork. Greedy pig. Ridiculous. Two kilos of chicken over there, that's the feed. And you've got two kilos of pork and that's your feed here. Big difference. It's certainly making our meat lovers think. But wait until they see the next one. Oh, look at that. Bit of roast beef for you, sir, is it? Yes, please. When it comes to two kilograms of beef, it's not so simple. So there we have the beef. Now, my cows are out on the grass grazing. So for two kilos of beef, how much feed do I need? Well, you need about 45 kilos of this. 45 kilos of this lovely hay, that'll give me my two kilos of beef. Yes. That's the same as the two bells of hay we're sitting on. So even if grass fed, that's still 10 times more feed than a chicken for equal weights of meat. Now, what about systems where they don't go out on grass when you've got grain-fed cattle? How much are those animals eating? Well, let's have a look. In the US, many cattle are fattened on formulated feed, represented here by a wheelbarrow full of sweet corn. It takes 30 kilograms of feed to produce two kilograms of beef. For a whole cow's worth of meat, you'd need, roughly speaking, another 80 wheelbarrows of feed. Million. After seeing all this, how do you feel? I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't think I realised just how much goes into feeding it, but I do like the taste. So, Craig, in your opinion, after we've seen all this food laid on the table, which is the best meat to eat, then? In terms of what's best for the environment, it's probably the chicken, because it's the most efficient at turning its feed into meat. 